Hey guys, how you doing today? It's been a while and I apologize for that. I'm a new content creator and I've been so busy recently posting up and updating my Instagram every single day and try to be consistent with every single platform that I sometimes forget that I also want to update my YouTube as well. I want to make sure that I want to put out as much as useful content as possible to you guys for all my new content creators such as myself or any experienced content creators. I want to be as useful and informative to you as possible. That being said, I'm going to get straight to the point about today's video, but before that, let's set that intro. So today's topic is going to be simply about sound, voiceover. What do I mean by that? See, I'm talking to you guys right now. You have to be, obviously, you have to be super enthusiastic and all of those things that you want to be as audible as possible to your audience. And most importantly, they need to be able to understand what you say. Now, what do you do? What are the tools that you use? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. And it's one of the easiest things I have come across. And I have learned so many things for different content creators on YouTube. But there are three points I want to go over, which could be very useful in terms of you doing content, right? Number one. The tool I use on Adobe Premiere Pro is called Parametric Equalizer. I don't know the exact definition of what that tool does and what happens. All I know is I use it and I tweak a few settings and bam, next thing you know, my voice sounds pretty cool. I mean, as cool as it could get, you know? Second one is a single, ba a single band compressor. Again, uh, from what I understand when I read on Google and uh, other sound websites, it takes the highest uh, pitch of your voice, like if I, if I scream right now, and the lowest pitch of your voice, and it finds the perfect balance in between. So your voice never sounds too loud or too low. So that's the definition I can give you. Now, if you want to look it up yourself, you can, but I'm here to show you what you can do and what you can press in the tool in Adobe Premiere Pro in order for you to make it as useful as possible. Because I want to be able, I want you guys to be able to put out content as fast as possible. Because that's what I want to do. So that's why I figure that's what you want to do. Third thing and last thing, I know most people out there. I mean, especially new content creators. I know you're not gonna go and drop thousands of dollars soundproofing your room. DJs, one of my buddies, he's a, he was a DJ, and he told me soundproofing is something that takes a lot of money, proper soundproofing, and skills. I don't have time to soundproof, which is why you have Adobe Premiere Pro. So one of the tools, and it's a very easy tool, it's called denoising. And that's not the denoise that you think where, you know, you have noise in the shadows, overexposing, underexposing. No, it's just denoising for the sound. I'm going to go over these three things with you guys. By the end of it, I think you should, you should be able to use uh, your voiceovers and bang out as much videos as possible and you will have nice sounds. You're not going to go out there and say, oh man, my voice sounds pretty bad or doesn't sound clear. These, these choices, these tools I'm going to show you, it should be pretty good. Let's get started, okay? So for testing out, or I'm going to show you how these things work, I'm going to start reading our famous Rocky quotes because I love that movie, Rocky. I love boxing, combat sports. One, one thing about me, I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I do Muay Thai, some of these things I've been practicing since I was a teenager. But anyways, I'm going to read famous Rocky quotes, and from these famous Rocky quotes, I'm going to be editing the sound of my voice. Let's get started. Going one more round, when you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. This is the part I'm going to show you the different ways we use the effects I spoke about in the beginning of the video. First thing I'm going to show is the parametric equalizer. I dragged and dropped it right on top of the sound on the timeline and just press edit. You have two options. Choose the preset that's already built in or you can tweak that curve and just change as you please. The settings are based on what you like and dislike. Let's hear the sound. Going one more round. When you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. Going one more round. This is after. When you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. Going one more round. When you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. Notice there's a subtle change in my voice. Nothing huge, but very subtle and sounds a little bit better cinematic. 
Let's apply the next thing. Every which champion is was once a contender. Single band compressor. Who refused to give up. If I can change and you can change, everybody can change. This is the voiceover before good. the effect was applied. Now it's going to be both of them applied. Watch and see the difference. Let's play it back and we're going to see. I'm going to apply. These are the presets I chose from my voice. You can always play around with it, but these are the two things you would use in Adobe Premiere to apply different voice changes. Over here, this is the, the tool that, you know, chooses a voice, your top pitch voice and your low pitch voice and finds the perfect balance. So I'm going to play the Every before and after. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. After. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. If I can... See over here, my voice is a little Every low. champion was once a contender who refused to give up. So Every champion do is, was once a contender who refused to give up. If you want to adjust up. the pitch, you simply go to parametric equalizer, actually another single band compressor, and you just increase the decibel by a few. I always increase it about 8 to 10 or 7 to 10. If I can change, voice is exactly and you can change, to be. everybody can change. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's hear the final. Every Before. champion was once a contender who refused to give up. After. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. So the last thing I want to talk about to finish off the video is I was just thinking while I was recording, how am I going to simulate a static or something in the background? It doesn't always happen. My, my room seems to be pretty decent when it comes to sound quality. So what I noticed is as you make the changes using the equalizer and the single band compressor and all that, a lot of the times you have a little bit of static and a little bit of echo in the background. So I think you may not be able to hear it on my end, but what I'll tell you is as you apply the same effects that I just applied, you're going to have a little bit of static and a little bit of echo. It's just a byproduct of, of using these things. Sometimes you get that, which is why you have that denoise effect. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to apply that to my footage and match my sound. And then you can do the same. And at the end, you're going to have crisp, cinematic quality sound. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Now let's talk about the last thing I talked about in the menu, which is the denoise effect. As you can see up here, I already have the parametric equalizer, single man compressor. Both of those effects are already applied. The last thing I'm going to apply is the denoise effect under the sound tab. Make sure you drag, put it on the sound. And from there, same thing as before, press the edit. They also have some presets up there for this one. I don't necessarily use the preset. I just simply go ahead and increase uh, the percentage down there to, for the amount to, to denoise to about 60%. Once you notice this, if you go too far, you will make your voice sound a little strange. You wanna just keep it a little bit moderate. 60% usually does a trick for me. Every champion was once does. a contender who refused to give up. If I can change and you can change, everybody can change. That was pretty good. Let's get rid of it and then you can see the difference before and after. Let's play it again. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. Now let's reapply the denoise effect. And they and apply, edit it by 20% and replay. If I can change and you can change, everybody can change. And that, guys, pretty much covers the denoise effect. These three options over here should be more than enough for you to tweak and make your voice sound cinematic. So I hope you guys, that was extremely helpful to you guys. I want to thank you again for watching the video. I want to make sure that every single content I put out is extremely helpful to new content creators such as myself and anybody else who's out there who's trying to put out content on a daily basis or a weekly basis. And I want to make sure that every single video I put out, remember on my first video I mentioned, every single content I put out, it has to go towards making sure that 
when you create, you want to be able to share and upload everything on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, wherever you want to upload it. I want you to be able to do it in the most efficient and best way possible so you can maximize the amount you spend on creating stuff out there. So you can have fun. You can go ahead and you know make more friends and then meet other creators just like yourself. I hope this video was extremely helpful for you guys. Again, guys, if you guys like what you're watching, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I will be putting in a lot more effort to finding the most easiest and the best content for, uh, for the creators out there to make sure that as I put out more and more stuff, you guys uh, appreciate and like what I put out. Please don't forget to comment if you have any suggestion of any kind of topic you want me to cover. Please don't hesitate. I'm here to make sure that I'm learning as much as I go. I'm here to teach all my creators out there as I go. And I want to build a community just like some of the most famous uh, creators out there. Uh, like one of my favorite creators, Peter McKinnon. You know, shout out to you, man. You were one of the greatest uh, inspiration that I watched. And I want to keep on doing uh, the work that I do to make sure that content creators out there, like such as myself, uh, benefit from it. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you out. Peace.